Hey, hello guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sagar Tuchapati, and in this video, I will be talking about data lake house. Okay, so you must have seen this topic everywhere data lake house, data lake, or data lake, or data warehouse, right? And if you are data engineering engineer and if you want to become data engineer you must have heard about it and maybe you are using currently in your project in your companies and so right so i thought why don't i discuss about this topic okay so i started my journey in 2016 as a i was i was studying you know btech 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 computer science so there i used to learn about data warehouse concept right and I hope that if you are coming from the same batch or you know similar batch then you also have learned about this data warehouse concept during that time and when I joined my company the first company in 2019 there also I used to you know, transfer the data from data warehouse to the data lake okay so at that time we I was making I was building a data lake okay so uh, what is data warehouse so see you can understand here they have mentioned like structured data then they, they have ETL then they put that data into data warehouse and then they create like Power BI reports, Excel reports and so on on top of the data warehouse. So you if you can see over here the first step is structured data. So what happens that you know we only take the structured data we can deal with the structured data we can extract and then we can transform it and Transform means you know uh, to make some manipulation over the data and then load it into a data warehouse, right? That is the uh, data warehouse concept. Now companies now you know currently uh, you know data is getting uh, more day by day, right? Data is uh, too big nowadays. You can see YouTube, uh, social media platform, so there are a lot of platform and everything is online now, right? So they are they are generating some data. So how to process that volume of data, right, which is coming from different formats, right. So basically we have three type of data, structured data, semi-structured data and unstructured data. So, so structured data means is what? Is a table. Semi-structured means like let's say we have JSON files, Parquet file, we have uh, CSV files, Excel file and so that is semi-structured data and unstructured data is like audio video images and so 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 things right so all these data we can put it into our data lake and we can do a extract transform and load and load means we can put that data into a data warehouse and then on top of that data warehouse you can see uh, again the power bi reports bi and other things can be done right so this is what our data lake but again companies have moved from data lake to data lake house now what what is the problem in the data lake why they have moved from or what why they are moving from data lake to the data lake house because there is a governance missing and the metadata missing metadata means data lake does not have a exit asset properties enabled means if you if you have one table right so it will not be uh, asset compliance means you cannot do a concurrent write okay means concurrent means parallel write you cannot do it fails you cannot update the table you cannot delete the tables there there are some restrictions also right okay so this is what a data leak means and those th now you can assume hey we have a lot of data present in the uh, uh, in the data lake right now if i'm saying hey it cannot be deleted it cannot be uh, you know updated then the whole data we have to again rewrite it right something like that we have to do so it was not that much uh, that much uh, uh, optimized right so that's why currently we are building data lake house so you must have heard about this name delta lake delta tables apache hoodie Apache iceberg. So all these things are the metadata layers. Okay. So generally, uh, if you are into Databricks, so generally you have used data delta tables only, right? You created a delta tables. But we can also create Apache hoodie tables. We can also create Apache iceberg table on top of the data lake. Okay. So if we talk about the data lake house, 
again the same story the same thing in between they have added here metadata and governance layer these two things they have added governance means uh, you know uh, uh, we can we can do a masking in a table we can you know put some low level filter and so so things over there and then we have here lay a data lake house like bi reporting data science machine all those things we can do right so this is what you know uh, is uh, about a uh, data lake house and this is very important you know today's no one is gonna build data warehouse like maybe very few companies are building data data warehouse maybe very few companies are building data lake but yes our 90 80% companies are building data lake house now you can see key technology enable the data lake house metadata layer for data lake new query engine design providing high performance sql engine e executions optimize access for data science and machine learning tool okay so with this i have covered almost all the part of or the basic understanding of data lake house in simple term you do not need to worry about in you know, a what is different between warehouse data lake and lake house just make it simple okay now i have created this course data engine da data bricks certified engineer zero to hero you can see over here i have covered almost all the topics like say spark architecture what is data bricks read different file formats uh, let's say excel json csv uh, you know rest api and i i yet to cover oas in ever i mean it's quite uh, uh, similar uh, with like oas and pyke but i have to uh, you know uh, tell you apart from this manipulation of data using pyspark is done i have almost cover everything delta lake features is also covered and then batch streaming is also kind of covered right batch versus streaming data how to write batch versus streaming code or to load in detail output mode type of triggers and so database utility is also covered this is pending i yet to started because i was not sick so i couldn't make it unity catalog is done utility framework framework is or is also i mean i will cover by it but this week delta live table is done delta live table is very simple to be honest if just you, you just have to know about the basic concept of delta live tables right database workflow and cicd is done hugging face model is also done right so uh, with this if you are interested you can take this course and uh, learn it do the practice then only you will learn it's not like if you just watch the video you can you can get it right make a account make notebooks write code and so and then do it right chalo and yeah that's it and i hope that you will love this uh, course if you take this and uh, with this i'm going to end this video thank you bye bye we'll meet you in the next lecture